Welcome back. For just over a year now, St. Vincent's and Mayo Clinic have been teaming up to fight cancer at the Mayo Clinic Cancer Center, located at St. Vincent's Riverside. Mayo Physician Staff Facility and St. Vincent's provides the remaining clinical and administrative roles all along the beautiful St. John's River. And here's one patient's story. Everybody has a different path and a different journey and they see their path differently. Jenny Weta Perry's path right now is a difficult one. Um, I was diagnosed with stage three breast cancer in May of 2017. Doctors at the Mayo Clinic Cancer Center located at St. Vincent's Riverside discovered a tumor about the size of an orange. Jenny needed chemo and it's working. And now she's on a care to complete the chemotherapy and then go on to get surgery and that after radiation and anti-hormone treatment. The best thing about the treatment here that I've learned so much um, is that the treatment is tailored to you. So when I get my prescription for chemo, it's based on me specifically. My treatment has taken my tumor from an eight centimeter down to it can't be felt by the doctors in 16 weeks. You know, you can't, you can't ask for anything better than that. Beyond treatment, doctors and patients both say support is critical. There are studies which show that not only family support, but also neighbors, relatives, and support systems like this, societies with oncology, uh, like American Society of Clinical Oncology, Leukemia Lymphoma Group, Breast Cancer Societies, and the society that Ms. Perry is part of, not only helps you in, during the initial turmoil of being diagnosed with cancer, but also do, towards the long journey of treatment and going through the cancer treatment. In addition to great support from family and friends, Jenny's family also attends a support group at St. Vincent's called Kids Together Against Cancer, or KTAC. Our girls are 9 and 12, so we wanted to make sure that they had an outlet too if they needed to ask questions. So we went and um, now we're in the monthly series and go and so we get to see everybody that we met over the summer and the girls are super excited about going and they can't wait until we go. Jenny says both at home and during treatments, it's been a team effort and she is so thankful for her team. The treatment here is very good. Um, the nurses are wonderful. The people at the desk, the medical assistants, you come in, they're smiling, they know your name. You feel like you're part of what's of like the family here. And then when you're in treatment, like our room, um, you're by yourself, you can relax. You know, you don't have a lot of stuff happening. We have the beautiful view of the river. Um, and it's very nice. They come in, they have blankets, they have a snack area. So they take really good care of you. To learn more about the Mayo Clinic Cancer Center located at St. Vincent's Riverside, visit jackshealth.com slash mayo. And joining us now, Dr. Asher Chanan Khan and Jenny Lehman are just two of the many people helping patients through treatments. Appreciate you guys joining us. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Great, great video there. I love KTAC. We'll get into that in a sec. But, Doc, uh, talk a little bit about the one-year anniversary of this partnership. It's been impressive. Um, as you know, in, you know, cancer is a devastating disease. It brings yeah. out fear. Um, and the statistics are that every single family in the United States is going to be affected by cancer at one time or the other. One out of two people will have cancer. And the science, as much as we love it, has gone so much forward. It has become so sophisticated. Genetics, immunology, immune system, cells, we're able to precisely figure out where and what the things went wrong and how can we fix it. We can actually change DNA and fix the immune system now. It's become very sophisticated, and it gone are the days where this uh, this very complex disease could be taken care of by just anybody. In Mayo Clinic, being one of the top three cancer centers in the country, located in Jacksonville, um, in partnership with St. Vincent's, has brought those expertise out to everybody in the community. So. Cancer not only because of the fear factor, the death, the imminent mortality. Cancer doesn't just require sophisticated technology minds to fight. It also requires a lot of compassion. Yeah. The whole process is very tedious, long, deforming. So the values of Mayo Clinic and the values of St. Vincent's have same background. They're, they're anchored in servitude, they're anchored in compassion, they're anchored in 
long-standing Christian values of um, Franciscan nurse, uh, nuns versus St. Vincent's. And the, this partnership kind of consolidated the high sophisticated science that has developed at the Mayo Clinic over a hundred years, partnering with an amazing service that St. Vincent's has done to this community. It, it's a natural fit. It's been some great synergy. <clears throat> yes, and bringing them together allowed us to uh, bring this, this unique combination that is so required for cancer care to a larger community in the Jacksonville. So Jacksonville community is now blessed by having uh, this very sophisticated relationship, technology available to almost everybody. And you know, I personally believe, Curtis, that anybody who has cancer deserves the best mind, the best care, the best compassion. And so, so this is a natural fit and it's been just well, let's let's talk that. about that compassion part of it, because um, obviously Mayo has the science and the, the compassion part at St. Vincent's that you guys are doing with KTAC. Talk a little bit about that program. Uh, it, it seemed amazing. Yeah, I mean, KTAC is an incredible, unique program. Um, there's really nothing like it in Jacksonville. It is for um, parents who have a cancer diagnosis, and it's primarily to support the family. Um, and there's three aspects to it right now. There's one-on-one -on -one support. Um, there's monthly meetings and there's also a summer climb series where they examine a feeling that kids and parents go through um, each week for a series of five weeks. So it's, it's a fantastic program run by incredible social workers. And as we're, we're, we only have a little bit of time left, but anybody out there who, who may have been diagnosed or has a family member diagnosed, what do you say to them and, and about what they're going through and how you guys can help? Um, I say to them that you deserve support. Um, that you're not on this journey alone, particularly if you work with us at St. Vincent's. We have an incredible team. Um, and that they should use every tool in the toolbox, and that means um, support from every angle, including support groups, one-on-one um, -on -one support, and, and anything else that we can offer. Well, it's a great mission, and uh, appreciate you guys, what you're doing for all the families out there going through this. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for being with us. I want to thank St. Vincent's Healthcare for making this segment possible. And to learn more about the Mayo Clinic Cancer Center located at St. Vincent's Riverside, visit jackshealth.com forward slash Mayo.